Palmas del Mar is located on the southeast coast of Puerto Rico. It's approximately 35 miles uh, from San Juan. Takes you anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to get there driving. Uh, it is uh, on about 2,700 acres, and it is supposedly the largest master-planned resort-oriented development in the Caribbean. Uh, it has supposedly, again, more than six miles of Caribbean beach line, uh, two 18-hole golf courses, a, uh, a marina of uh, over 150 slips, a 20-court tennis facility, and a beach club and an equestrian center. So uh, today, we're going to take you on a little tour of uh, Palmas del Mar. Hope you enjoy it. All right, here we are. This is the entryway to Palmas del Mar. Always looking beautiful. All these places always have great landscaping. Make you think that it's a beautiful, beautiful place. All right, let's go. Entry gate. This is the first level of security at Palmas del Mar. They're going to ask you where you're going. So all you need to do is have a, a, a unit number and the development name, and they'll just let you right on in. Security is tight here. <laughs> Buenas. Oh. Hola. Hola. Uh, 2055 Montesor. No. Oh, no, no, oh. no videotaping. Ah, uh, no videotaping. Okay, okay. Well, she just told me there was no pictures or no uh, video allowed in going Palmas go, in Mar. Palmas del Mar. <laughs> so I was going through the little security uh, gate person who didn't even write down the information of where we were going. So, uh, you know, security's tight here, just like the TSA. <laughs> <laughs> what a joke. So we're coming back from a day at uh, the Pork Highway to uh, our place at Palmas del Mar and uh, look what we arrived to. This is not the first time this has happened, but uh, they do a little security check where it's all just, it's all uh, fake actually. But uh, <laughs> they, they pretend they're doing a security check, but this is what it takes to get back into the place. It's probably gonna take us, I don't know, you know, it's not moving too fast here. So it's gonna take us a while to uh, just, to, just to get in. It's just uh, utterly ridiculous. Is my turning yet? Um, you can. Let's check Why out not? Academy Drive. Yeah, we've never been down here. Somewhere new. Okay, so each and every, each and every one of these uh, developments here, you know, has got their own little entry, their own little gated security so here we are at uh, Costa Verde which we can't get in which we can't get in because we don't know the code so we'll have to turn around but you can look there you know nice nice houses in there obviously right on the golf course they have ducks yeah look at them and here is uh Palmas Plantation again I actually saw gate. a couple houses for sale in there, so I know we can actually afford the homes in that uh -huh. one. What were they going for? Uh, 500s. 500s, I think, in here. Yep. yep, so this is uh, Palmas Academy. So they've uh, opened up their own school here for uh, people who live uh, full-time residents. It used to be a resort, and it's become uh, more residential as well. Wow, there's the Palmas Homeowners Association. They have their own building and everything. Right. Oh, there's an equestrian center to the right. Okay, cool. Who knew about the equestrian center? Okay. Caballero. No, Candelero. it's Candelero. Cond Candelero. Hacienda. Candelero. Wonder where they Ooh. got the name Candelero Sorry about the bumper. Drive. I don't know. Here's a soccer field. Candelero. And we're going down here to the 
Equestrian Center. We wow. have to get used to the bumps because we're yeah. in Puerto Rico. Yeah, they had them on the Isla Verde. Wow, well, this would get me. Wow. Wow, we'll get that on the way back. This would get me. Uh, I'm going to turn around here and okay. go down this Ooh. road. Whoa, wow. Mountain bikes. It's a bike rental. Right there you go, Sal. Too bad we just found it on our last day here. The bike rentals. Oh, this is bad. Yeah. But I'll soon I'll be riding my yeah. bike. And here is the equestrian center, of course with its own little bar. Pack room. Stable. Stable. Yeah, I forgot about the horses. I'm more concerned about the bar. If you look down, right down, you can see the horses. Yep. And the stable. Yeah, there they are. Wow. It's good sized. All these rich people here. I wonder where they ride. So this is the Palmas del Mar Homeowners Association building. We can only assume that this is for community related activities for those people who aren't, aren't members of the exclusive Palmas Athletic Club. Or the golf club. Yep. It's probably like the social community center. Yeah. There was nothing going on today. Nothing happened today. But you can see some tables and chairs in there. Yep. They have meetings in there too. I bet they have classes. Well. This, this is uh, the woods. You know, uh, condo, condo style living. On the golf course again. On the golf course again. So I mean, here you're either uh, on the golf course, or on the ocean, or in Monte Sol, like us, in the middle of nowhere, in the uh, the poor people district. We do have views of El Junque though. Yeah, exactly. Ours, ours is ours is uh, ours is labeled as the tennis tennis. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, thank you. How much they sold yeah. tennis? Yeah. Villa Villa Realis Villa Realis over there. Sorry. It's always a little cachet here in Puerto Rico to live in a gated community, and these people are double gated. We saw what the security was at the first gate. <laughs> and this is where we're, where we're staying, Monte Sol, up the hill. Trust me, there's a gate up there. Now here's the entrance to our little development a community here in Palmas del Mar. It's called Monte Sol. Almost all of the developments here are gated uh, and controlled access. Uh, interestingly for, for uh, Lisa and me, uh, we actually stayed in this the, the exact same complex, not the same unit, but the same complex well, about uh, 10 years ago with our kids. So it was uh, very interesting coming up this uh, up the hill, coming in here and saying, oh, we were here. Of all the, of all the developments here at uh, Palmas del Mar, you know, we, uh, we chose or were we able to get a spot at the, at the same one we were at before. So each of the little developments here in, in uh, Palmas has its own pool or pools as the case may be. Here's ours, but uh, unfortunately, you know, as we are short-term guests, only here for 12 days, uh, we can't use it supposedly, and they will remove us. So, you know, while it looks, all looks nice, what you can use here is, uh, is a different story. So you need to ask if you're coming here for a short-term rental, uh, whether uh, or not you will be able to use the pool. Uh, our pool right now, unfortunately, is, uh, well, uh, all these, well, they always look nice, you know, is uh, unfortunately out of order. It uh, turned green the other day and, uh, you know, it has now been, you know, not usable. But uh, you can see it's pretty nice, as, uh, as everything is here, always pretty nice. But uh, whether you can use it or not is always a story and a question that you need to ask. Uh, there are a lot of tennis courts here at uh, Palmas and the Palmas Athletic Club, but again, you know, you have to actually be a, a member. And uh, so we are obviously not members. And uh, I don't think that our uh, Airbnb host is member member either, but there's lots of, lots of nice courts. And I'll show you there's lots of uh, pickleball, pickleball courts too. And here are the pickleball courts, six of them. So that's uh, pretty nice. Again, have to make reservations. And they're not going to let us make a reservation here because we're not members of the athletic club. And over here on the other side are many, many more tennis courts. So, uh, again, that's nice if you're a member. If you're not a member, 
now they just look nice and uh, just uh, that's all it is good to look at you know there is a uh, tennis uh, wall here that uh, you can probably get away with using without registering but other than that probably not there's a uh, bar and grill here by the tennis complex Olea and uh, it's actually right down from where we've been staying it's actually pretty nice very convenient like two minute walk food is uh, Who's okay, reasonable price. And so you come hang out, have a drink. More uh, things that are bigger units, these look like duplex units. Look fairly, fairly big, pretty nice. This is a fairway courts. There's a back up on the tennis courts too. And I guess on the other side must be the, uh, the golf course. Ow. Those are some nice roof gardens they have. Yep, they are, certainly are. Casillas de Palmas. Thank you. Okay, just little apartments, apartments here. Yeah. There's a whole wide variety of different housing options here. Huge some of them of price uh, and price points, and some of them uh, allow you to short-term rent. Some of them don't. You want to see show them? The uh, no. Oh yeah, I, I got the fitness center actually from the other side. I walked there. We can drive from here. So this is uh, this is Beach Village houses back here. Yeah, this is the uh, country club there. More uh, just apartment style units. It's called Las Palmas. Can't tell what it is. Las Palmas and uh, Dorado. Coming up here is that uh, Crescent Cove. A world apart. That Palmas. Wow, that's making me want to buy right there. Slogan. <laughs> is this the playa? Yeah, this is it. Stop right here. Okay. All right. So this right here is the entrance to the playa. And as I get out of the car, Lisa lets me out. We will see that there is no place to park here. I'm just gonna hang out here until someone makes me. Yeah, the security people come and get you. So it's really not convenient to get here from any place in the. Uh, in the complex. Unless you have a cart, you can get the cart through this little gate. Everybody's got a cart, but now we have to walk down to the beach. And it's not too far. It's only about a minute, minute and a half. Here's uh, where they park their little carts so they can, can walk down to the beach. But really make it really make it inconvenient if you don't have a cart to get to the, you know, only the one or the two uh, accessible points of the beach. So just wait a minute. And of course we have the fences on both sides of the walkway here because you don't want the riffraff going to the beach to, uh, to be coming into your com apartment complex. All right, here's the entrance to the beach. I have to do this quick because there is a storm approaching. We can see it out there. I'm already getting a little wet. I'm gonna be running back to the car. But here they're warning you of rip currents. There's been a couple people have drowned here at Palmas. I'm not exactly sure which beach they drown on. It was this one or one of the other ones, but uh, here's the public beach. You can see all the sargasm. It's not really a pretty beach. Off in the distance, you can see the red flag warning your rip current. Uh, you can see the, the uh, rain coming very quickly. Pretty good sized waves, not what you see on the west coast. But now I'm going to beat feet before I get too wet here. All right. Heading into Beach Village here, but actually, actually, we're going to the. Uh, I think this is the Country Club here, the Palmas Athletic Club. Maybe not. Uh oh, it's gonna make it hard for you to get around here. Oh, some little bikes. You can get an Enterprise rental car. 
No, this isn't the country club. It looks like a hotel. Looks like a hotel. Yeah. Wow. Actually, so that's actually a Wyndham Resort back there. And that Palmas Wyndham Resort is where they have all the community social events like the Valentine party and things like that. The Three Kings uh, parade. Uh, it's the hub of social life. Wow. A hotel. hotel. Centrally located though. And more golf course down here. Don't know if it's the same golf course or a different one. There's a golf cart. Golf cart. That's how people get around here. They live here. Yep. You uh, live here, you almost have to get a golf cart. The mm -hmm. only way you get to the beach on wheels is on a golf cart. They have parking there. So the golf cart, yep. I talked to them about that. So we're coming up on Haciendas uh, de Palmas and uh, from a different angle, it almost looks like urban sprawl here. We looked at a place in here, and uh, we were not uh, that impressed. Small dimensions, cheap appliances, cheap countertops. But they wanted uh, 500 for it. It was a good. Uh, it was actually in the 300. 365. Oh, oh it's 385. It was a good starter yeah. kind of. Uh, yeah, place. But, yeah. And here, tearing down the trees, getting ready to put in some more. The urban sprawl. There's a, a Hoya up here. But they, these people have uh, some nice uh, balconies and some decks. That's uh, the one good feature about them. Going down here to the And you can see up here on the hill, there's some really, really expensive uh, places up there. We've seen some places in, for, uh, for sale. This place uh, with, uh, at five mil. Start to the right. Yep, go to the right. And certainly, some of the places we're going to show you down here are pretty expensive too. The ones right on the marina, they have come with their own. This is Las Vias. Uh, come with their own dock. Uh, a dock for uh, big boats. And we'll get those on the way back. Sorry. That was a bad one. This is a uh, Palm Marina Club. And Can't see much here because of the wall. Sorry about that. And here's a uh, seafood restaurant, La Pescaderia. Well, that's a happening place here today. been closed the last couple times we came down here probably because we came down on Monday or Tuesday or even Wednesday wow I don't even see all the people uh, there's people there yep yep oh that's a people there it is someone wants to check it out looks nice yep. and here is the uh, right next to the marina boat storage do you think that's one person's house this here? Yeah, absolutely. That's one person's house there. Wow. wow. I bet you they have a big boat. You think? <laughs> I think. I'm looking at the great big modern one. Yeah. yeah, you can see there's some, uh, there's some big, this is, I guess, two here, but uh, the other two here. And now we're going to take down to another restaurant. You can, you can rent carts here. We got dinner down here. We had dinner down here last night at Chinchos Pizza. Pizza was really good. We're gonna get a few meals out of that pizza. Well, actually, we got two pizzas, so Reap's gonna get a few meals out of it. But uh, pretty nice. You sit there right on the right in the harbor. Did you want to get out here? No. Oh yeah. You give us a better view. There it is. Ooh, right there in the marina. Sit there and watch the uh, pelicans fish. They're not fishing today. And it's the day off. Sunday they take the day off. Yeah. <laughs> 
now we're going to see some houses that uh, they got the houses right in front of their dock this is a seascape peninsula usually these things are long and narrow and you see right down there to the the, the docks at the marina long skinny and uh, no windows on the side well you got some windows in the front and some decks in the front that's uh They build them right next to one another. As you can see over there, see, yeah, as you can see right there, they build them right next to one another. Well, they probably have lots here for people to, for the next people to build. Yeah, when they when they decide to build. This is Harbor Point at Palmas Del Mar. So they're right on, the, right on the harbor, right on the marina. Isla, Isla, San Isla San Marco. And this is uh, the Park Royal Homestay. So we think this is a uh, hotel-ish type of of complex, they have really small balconies, they think, where play people come just for a few nights, hotelish like. Drop the baby. Don't drop the beer. This is another entry point into the, the beach. I don't know if it's really, we went there. Again, not the, not the greatest of beaches. Plaza Del Mar. This is uh, Plaza Del Puerto. And right on the marina. the end here there's a, a nice restaurant can't remember the name of it was it Lottie's down here you want me to turn right or left left there's Lottie's just can't go right there it's gated we can see the uh, marina it's good size really good size marina here going all the way down to Lottie's yeah it's more bad <laughs> there's a Lottie's restaurant nice here right on the point of the marina gracias the only gate we can get through. <laughs> they want your money here. Oh my god, look at the sarcasm in the water. That's why it smells so bad. We actually had a, a nice uh, a meal, nice meal here, nice drinks. We good. did. Very nice outdoor area, covered outdoor area. In the back right by the water. Turn around so that you, yeah. you can show these boats. Okay. I guess it just does a circle. I'm going to turn around. Oh, you just go straight through here. We're good. Okay. More of the Crescent Beach area. Here, lots of sargasm. Yuck. And people fishing. It's pretty though. Pretty. Yeah. Too much development. Hey, a restaurant here. Who knew? Uh, I didn't know that. Italian, maybe that's dinner. Okay. Cafe de la Planta. So this is uh, Palma Nova Plaza, sort of like a, a central shopping area, some restaurants here. We got a Banco Popular branch. Um, there's a lawyer here, some real estate agents, uh, a little sh uh, shopping market. We'll show you that when we get up to it. It's just your basic necessities of yeah, life. Exactly. So you don't ever have to leave the complex, ever. And also it's handy because 
you have to go so far into the complex to get to your home that it would take you 20 minutes just to leave right. the complex. So you have to walk up these dark steps. There's other ways around. You can park. We're gonna park closer to it. But I want to show you from the, the primary parking lot. You have to walk up these dark steps. Here's the main courtyard. And their postal service is placed. So we were trying to mail a, a small postal service box of coins to our kid, which uh, supposedly from a postal service costs $9.85. I brought it here. It's impossible here. I brought it here for her to mail, you know, for her to, just to drop off to the postal service and she was gonna charge me $18.50. So, uh, you know, you're paying a lot for the convenience of using these places. Right, so this service fee that was of more value more expensive than the actual postage. Exactly, it was ridiculous. But uh, they have a cafe and bar here, realty. Uh, I guess they're closing up. They have a barber here. Breakfast and sandwich shop. And here is the Palmas Market. I'm not going to go in the Palmas Market because uh, they're just uh, you know, adamant about masks. Masks are mandatory in the store. The masks are mandatory in the store. Use the mask in the store. We sell masks. All right, so uh, that's, that's okay. But I'm going to tell you something about the prices in here. You know, we went to go, somebody's always price uh, liquor. We went to go price uh, some of the food in here and, and the prices were just uh, outrageous, outrageous. At least 50% more than- Yeah, at least 50. I mean, they're, they're charging 100. for a bottle of water, which is double the price we can get at the local supermarket. You know, the uh, the bottle of uh, tequila I was looking at, which I bought for like 22 bucks at the local store, was here for 30 something. You know, so again, you're paying a lot, lot for the convenience. Okay. So the good news is that for the eating we've done here, the eating didn't gouge you. The yeah, exactly. Didn't that gouge you the way the supermarket and the postal service did. That's true, because uh, we went to uh, the Flying Pizza. We we're not going to go the whole way around to the front of the Flying Pizza, but this is the back of the Flying Pizza. Pizza here was good. Uh, very good. So, uh, you know, the food here has, has been good. The, the Yogan Fruz, what about the Yogan Fruz? Yogan Fruz might have been a little overpriced. It was normal, I thought, and um, Mine was good, you didn't really like your... Yeah, I didn't really like mine. Mine, was, mine was pretty tasteless. More realty, everyone's trying to sell you something here. These are ones uh, that I saw for one of the five million dollar ones, two million dollar ones, They're out of our price range. In the back here, there's a nice restaurant, Las Brisas. Uh, yeah. Argentinian steakhouse. So some uh, Tiki Tac shops here for Clothing souvenirs. Store. Clothing stores, gotta have those. As a lawyer and notary. Yeah, I mean, interestingly here, there is a uh, Brazilian uh, jiu-jitsu uh, studio. I don't know if it's called. It's, it's, uh, that's what it's called, but uh, I got that. So, uh, interesting place. Not really sure what's up on the uh, the second and third floor. Sort of seem like uh, hotel-ish. Yeah, they are, they are rental condos. Rental condos. Our, our lawyer actually manages them. Ah, okay. Aha. I was listening to her, and that's what she was talking ah. about, maintenance and keys for different condos. Oh, ah, okay. So all these are condos. You can see right on the plaza, very badly reviewed on TripAdvisor. <laughs> so don't do it. Don't do it. And the water fountain here, not working. It's off for the winter, because they're afraid it's going to freeze. So here's a picture of the sprawl of this place, and we saw a couple of places where they're still going to put in even more and more and more. I like to call this as, uh, we, we could be, we could be uh, nice and call it Gringo Land or America Land because while there are Mexicans, I mean, sorry, while there are a lot of Puerto Ricans who have places here, this place is really... You got a license for that thing? You got a license? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, this, is, this is mostly, yeah. Gringo Landia is what that Lisa calls it. It's mostly... Uh, Targeted toward uh, people from the mainland. English is spoken here. Trust me, it's hard to hard to get the people at the restaurants to even speak Spanish with us. Well, I hope you liked our short little tour of uh, Palmas del Mar here. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a little more basic information uh, about how big it is and how many units there are if I can find that. But uh, you know, we had to come 
you know, see what it was like. You know, we actually looked at some places here to, to actually uh, actually purchase, but when we, we got onto the property, we realized it was it was not our style and not for us. And you know, we uh, you know we're, we're, we're glad we were certainly glad we didn't buy buy something here. But uh, you know, it's uh, it could be for somebody, not for us. And uh, you know, so hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, may your suitcase always be messy, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Awesome. Peace out.